Hi, at the end of this video, you will learn how to recite the case in law school. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Dean Rod Vera. I'm a law school dean and a law school professor. This is part of my law student series on how to help you as a law student survive law school. I have a link up here to see the series of videos that will help you as a law student. So this video is about how to recite a case or how to tell a case while in law school in the recitation. I have a previous video up here on how to read a case and here how to digest the case for law school. Now, here's my first tip on how to recite the case for law school. Tip number one, first know your professor's style. I'm sure in the third or fourth week, you'll be able to know how a professor wants a student to recite a case for him. Each professor has their own style. If you are my student, I would rather go jump the issue, the ruling, and the doctrine. I don't necessarily ask for the facts anymore because I teach mostly fourth year and third year law students. I expect them to know how to read the case. In the beginning, start out by saying the case simple, like a case digest. Recite the simple facts, the ruling, and the decision. But make sure you recite the facts that are important or at least the most relevant to the issue and the decision. Tip number two, and this is what I tell my law students every year, and I will sound a little bit cliche-ish. You have to know the smoking gun in the case or the fork in the road. These are the set of facts that led the court or convinced the court on how they decided that way. Was there a missing uh, element in the case if it's a criminal case? Was there a set of facts or a particular fact that if it's a civil case either led to the liability or eliminate the liability? It's like watching a movie. What is the crescendo? What is the the climax of the movie. In the case, you have to look for a particular set of facts or a series of facts or maybe a counterpoint where in the case was ultimately decided that way. Here's my third tip. When you're first called, whether it be in a Zoom or at least in the class, you stand up. You recite the case, the case of people versus blanket or the case of blanket versus pillow. You say, in this case, the Supreme Court decided that the defense of ignorance of the law does not excuse or eliminate liability. You see here, I cited the ruling or the ratio decidendi. So in a way, I told the case in reverse. I began with the decision. So when I state the decision or the ruling, then I cite the smoking gun fact or set of facts. Because of these facts, the Supreme Court led to believe that there was no liability or that the court said that the defendant was liable or guilty of the breach. And then, then you state the facts. In a way, you are stating the case in reverse. What the professor really wants to know from you as a law student is how you understood the case. And make sure that when you cite the decision, the ratio or the reason or the smoking gun fact, it is relevant to the topic to which it is assigned. For example, you don't talk about damages when the issue is about rescission of contracts. Or when the, if it's a criminal case, it's really about the elements of murder rather than justifying or exempting circumstances. Again, to repeat, lay down the ratio or the decision to the swimming court, then lay the facts that supports the conclusion that the Supreme Court or the court gave. My fourth tip, which is more particular if you're junior or a senior year in your law school, is don't begin to say, this case is about so-and-so. You can get away with that, or that's acceptable if you're first or second year. But if you're third or fourth year, the professor knows that you are, you've survived the first two years or the first three years, and you should be more than a novice in reading a case. If you thought this video was helpful, I did my job. In return, I would ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have a chance, please explore my other videos where I do reactions and other law school tips. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It'll help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. 
Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.